Hello and welcome back to my channel, Loving Your Life with Mama D. I'm Glenda Davis, aka Mama D. And today is day number three of my fruit fast. Day number three, and I still feel, I feel fantastic. I'm really not hungry. And for this morning's breakfast, I have chosen um, just a plate of grapefruit, uh, cuties, um, seeded grapes, and a few cherries. And um, and I, I hope I can eat all of it. I'm simply not hungry. But uh, the scale moved down um, two, di two digits again. I started at 224. First day I went down to uh, 222. And today, which was the beginning of day number three, I'm at 219. So I'm moving right along. Uh, usually 219 is where I get stuck. If I press through 219 with this, I'm going to be like, hallelujah, anyhow. Woo! If that happens, I'm going to be, I'm going to be thrilled out of my mind. So anyway, so for lunch, I haven't quite decided, but I will bring you back to show you what I'll be doing for lunch. Um, again, my husband, still he's not ready. He did an oatmeal thing this morning, so he's not quite ready yet. And I'm not forcing anything on anybody. I know my fruit looks good. It looks delicious in that refrigerator stacked up like that. Anybody would want some, but you have to be willing to, you know, move forward and use, and just eat that alone. Okay. So, um, yeah, so I have a big old mango, not a mango, but a papaya. So I think I'm going to cut into this papaya. This is the one that has all those big black seeds. This is also very, a very nutritious. And guess what else I got? Um, agava. Yes, I found agava fruit. Uh, I was at Jungle Gyms the other day, and here's agava. I think it's going to be pink on the inside. I never got a fresh one before. I've only bought the agava juice, but this is a fresh agava. So I think I'm going to have agava and some papaya. Um, and I still have my um, smoothies in the refrigerator. I haven't even finished those. So, um, and I'm drinking coconut water and um, and I'll have some spring water probably today as well. So I'm moving right along. Looking forward to next week when I start those three bitters. Honey, this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> okay, so hey, um, I'm not gonna do a conclusion yet, but I'll make sure I bring you back for lunch and dinner. And then I ended. So I know these videos are coming out late at night, but I have to, you know, record after dinner and then um, I have to edit and everything and then put it out. So it should be out hopefully tonight by nine. OK. All right. See you guys. So I decided on this big, juicy tomato, just cut out the core and then I just cut it into some very nice, pretty thick slices. And then the main thing is to get those seeds out. Uh, because, you know, those seeds can get caught up in your uh, colon and they can be pretty bad. So it's good to get rid of at least most of those seeds. Um, and I cut a few and um, just laid them on the plate. And then topped them off with some olives. Yes, yeah, some green olives. Okay, so this is going to be lunch. I have tomatoes and some olives. Olives are also fruit. Okay, so this is lunch. And again, just let me report. I have just so not been hungry. I am not tripping on food. It is so crazy, but I have definitely not been hungry. I snacked on a watermelon this morning um, and my other you know, breakfast dish that I had set up. And I ate a few more cherries. And by the time I finished that fruit plate, I was good. It's just time for lunch now, so I'm going to have lunch. Mmm, that's good. <laughs> so it is dinner time. Again, I'm, I'm so not feeling hungry, but here's my biggest problem. I got to cook dinner for the fam because, you know, my husband decided not to do this. And I still have the girls. So I have to cook. So I've decided, I, I've been trying to make stuff for them that I don't particularly care anything about to make it easier for me. Yesterday, I just made some chicken patties on bun. And here's y'all's dinner. <laughs> so, you know, something quick, simple, that it won't be smelling up the house. Cause you know, when I cook, girl, I'll be cooking, I'll be wanting it too. But 
I'm good. I have purpose and I'm going for it. Okay. So I'm making them some white chicken chili tonight. And for myself, I'm going to have, let me just show you, this is going to be my dinner and I'm cool. So while they're having white chicken chili, I'm going to have pear and strawberries. Yes, sirree. That's going to be my dinner tonight. Fresh strawberries. And these are so, so big. Let me cut that, you know, because I don't like those little middle parts. So I always try to take those out. And, and I don't want this to be a long video. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these up. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I got all my pears and strawberries. They're all cut up in the bowl. And then I thought, maybe let's go ahead and do a banana. Um, Yeah. I check my blood sugar every day, at least one, just once a day, um, you know, just to stay on top of things. And the lowest, it's, it was, today was the lowest I've ever seen it. It was 98. 98. Yeah. So, this banana is not going to hurt anything. <laughs> okay, so here we have it. This is my dinner. And I'll drink some coconut water. And I'll be fine. Okay, so as I said, the hardest part of doing this is when you have a family that's not doing what you're doing and you have to cook regular food, you have to smell meat and all those things while you're trying to do this healthy thing. So, but I'm good. I I, I, I may have to taste it just to make sure, you know, just the little one of those kind of things just to make sure everything is cool. Because I make it the same way. I know what to put in it. I make it all the time. So, um, only thing I have to do in a minute is the rice. And then here I am with uh, Sheena's cousin uh, mixing up this chicken chili. Shame on Sheena's cousin. Okay, but anyway, she's, this is coming along. It'll be done in a minute. But as for me and my house... <laughs> We got strawberries, pears, and bananas, okay? So, um, hey, it's your life. Love it and make the best of it. And it, again, I think I told y'all this morning that my scale was all the way down. I can't wait to see what it is tomorrow. Honey, if I break that 219 barrier, girl, y'all ain't gonna be able to tell me nothing. <laughs> so don't forget to like, subscribe, share, ring that notification bell, and I'll see you guys on tomorrow for breakfast, okay? All right, have a great day. Bye-bye. Girl, day three is down.